Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. Uh, today I just wanted to give a shout out to my good friend, Mr. Robert Connell Clark. And I also wanted to thank uh, Mr. Mark D. Merlin. Um, both Rob and Mark uh, sent me a copy of the brand new Cannabis Evolution and Ethnobotany. Now this is a book that these guys have been working on for approximately 17 years, if you can imagine. Uh, it's an unbelievable amount of content in this book. Introduction to the Multipurposes Plant Cannabis is Chapter 1. We move into Natural Origins and Early Evolution of Cannabis, Chapter 2. Chapter 3 is the Ethnobotanical Origins, Early Cultivation and Evolution Through Human Selection. And then we move into, and that's a very huge chapter, a lot of stuff in there. Chapter 4, The Cultural Diffusion of Cannabis, also a very big chapter. Chapter 5, History of Cannabis Use for Fiber. Chapter 6, Food, Feed and Oil Use of Hemp. Chapter 7, Historical Aspects of Psychoactive Cannabis Use for Ritual and Recreation. Chapter 8, Ethnobotanical History and Contemporary Context of Medical ca Medicinal Cannabis. Uh, chapter 9, Non-Psychoactive Ritual Uses of Cannabis. Chapter 10, Recent History of Cannabis Breeding. 11, Classical and Molecular Taxonomy of Cannabis, Getting into the Science. And 12, The Hypotheses Concerning the Early Evolution of, of Cannabis. Now, uh, there is a final one as well, 13, which is Homo Sapiens, Cannabis and Homo Sapiens. Now, this is the book that they are kind of rocking the boat with that is talking about the NLDs and the, the WLDs. Now, that is a narrow leaf drug cultivar and a wide leaf drug cultivar, both of which he's stating are from the indica family and that the sativa, uh, rather than an actual species, is more like um, a, a useful plant. It's the hemp of the species. And he's saying indica branched out and created uh, a wide leaf and a narrow leaf um, drug cultivar for obviously recreational and medicinal use. And that's covered in this book. So if you don't have one already, go check it out on Amazon. Um, really cool that both Rob and Mark signed this for me. Uh, Mark, thanks for the great photos, and Mark D. Merlin. So yeah, I guess I've got a few photos in this here book. Always a pleasure to um, share photos with the likes of Rob Clark for one of his books. I, I see it as a, a historical context uh, that I'll be able to look at one back, uh, look back in time and see, you know, to be a part of a book like this, a book that is considered almost a university textbook in my opinion. And if you haven't uh, seen Rob speak before, get on to Bubble Man's World. Look up Cannabis Cup uh, episode 11, I believe, from this year. Rob does a, a beautiful speech. Uh, he went right on before Tony and myself. And you can catch our talk as well. But I just wanted to thank both Mark and Rob. Thank you guys for doing what you do, man. You're cannabis historians. You're cannabis scholars. And uh, we need more guys like you in our scene. You do a very important job. And I want to urge all of you guys out there, if you haven't picked up marijuana botany, Wow, then you're way behind. Uh, you can pick up hashish after that. And once you've read those two thoroughly several times from front cover to back cover, you can pick up the Cannabis Evolution and Ethnobotany. So now this is going to be really for those guys that want to geek out harder than your average person. It is very uh, university textbook-like. There's a lot of information. Uh, it's very well documented. And uh, yeah, there's the boys right there, Rob and Mark. So go give them some support. And thanks for watching Bubble Man's World, guys. I appreciate your support. Doesn't want to let me turn it off. I guess I'm supposed to share a little bit more with you guys. Well, here we've got the atomical haze that was given to me by the uh, Kind Selection Group. Um, my good buddy Tim. Uh, it's been outside for its entire flowering cycle the last couple of weeks and it's gotten a little bit cold outside. You can see the tips are uh, turning a little bit uh, reddish and uh, just what an unbelievable view for this plant to spend out the latter part of its life. So thank you everyone for sharing. Sharing is caring. We'll see you next time on Bubble Man's World.